Welcome to In The News with Double O Des. I'm Des Bernardo, giving you my perspective on news from South Africa and the rest of the world. In the news now, I know that all of you have been waiting for the ruling on the tobacco ban. And I said to you on Monday that because that there's been no ruling at the time, that negotiations are definitely taking place. And I can confirm that this was certainly the case because there's been rumors that from today that tobacco will go back on sale and FITA has actually said that this is not the case, that they will wait for the judgment which is expected this afternoon and then they will communicate to everyone what is happening. Now the fact that they're saying this means that they've been in negotiations, they've been talking behind the scenes and I'm not sure that FITA has actually been looking out for your interests. The government has made clear that the level 3 lockdown is the level at which cigarettes will not be sold but that when we move to level 2 and they said we can't stay at level 3 forever then cigarettes will become available so it's the first time that the president and Jackson and Tembu has, has actually made statements to that effect to say that tobacco will be on sale again from level 2 but how long will it take to get to level 2 this is the big question and it's like government is absolutely toying with us at this stage. The, the headline is in talk of the town, cigarettes are not returning to the shelves this week, says FITA. Which means that they know what's going on behind the scenes. And they've, all they, they wanted really in this two-part case, there was a part A and a part B. Part A was to get the export of cigarettes going. Once they got part A going, I think they were just happy. And part B was a backup in case the first one didn't work so that they could use the public to try and force government's hand. So they were going to use you as literally as cannon fodder for their cause to export cigarettes. Because I can tell you now that they're not fighting for you the way that they could in this fight. And I said I was very disappointed that it was just a scientific fight and that it was not based on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. It's almost as if this was deliberate. And the, the government based everything on the constitution and the rights that NDZ has, Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma, to try and protect people's uh, lives, whether true or not. It's difficult for a judge in a court who is not a scientist to make a call like that. So it makes it very difficult for them to judge. So the Fair Trade Independent Tobacco Association, or FITA, they've said that the social media claims that it's been doing the rounds that it's fake. And that once the judgment is handed down, they will study it and they will release that to the public. Now, the fact that they're saying this means that they actually know more than they're making out to know at this stage. And this is very, very concerning. And, you know, at the end of the article, which I will always put uh, in the description underneath the video, so you can go and read it for yourself, it speaks specifically there about when level 3 is gone tobacco will be on sale again but this could carry on for months it could carry on indefinitely i mean according to the government most of the economy is back and and on the go except for entertainment and uh, certain forms of recreation and so on but as as we know most people have decided that these lockdown regulations are unconstitutional and they're going to the beach they're doing whatever they want at this stage i can i can tell you that i can verify that this is happening I can also verify that I tried to take my family to a park earlier and there was a Metro Police van standing inside the park probably for more than half an hour idling its engine with men standing around in their uniforms trying to make sure no one enters the park. Now it's just a normal park where people can walk, a fairly large area, probably the size of four rugby fields. And they are wasting our taxpayers' money standing there just standing there, smoking while they were standing there, by the way, and idling an engine of a bucky, a Metro Police double cab bucky. This is absolutely shocking for the city of Cape Town to allow things like this. These people aren't even from our neighborhood. It's infuriating because that's our park, and I believe I have a right to take my family there and walk around. So, in the smoking ban case, as I said on Monday night, for those that have missed that video, you can go and watch it. FITA has played everyone. This is what I believe. The judgment will be out. I will study that judgment and I will bring that judgment to you. But this is the most important news now. 
is that FITA says that cigarettes will not be available this week. This is bad news. It means I know that the judgment is not going to just unban tobacco. Okay, and I, I told you that the moment they started the argument for the constitution, government, that it would be difficult for the judges to find against that because what science do they base that on? It was a very bad argument that FITA took to them. They took an argument to them that they knew that they would win. But the government brought a higher argument, that of the constitution. So these people did not know how to fight for your rights. They were very good at getting their exports, going for the companies they represent. They do not represent you. Just remember this. FITA does not represent you. We're still waiting for the outcome of the court case in the Cape Town High Court where there must still be a finding on the regulations for level 4 lockdown. So these are separate court cases happening and that has got the best chance because there our Bill of Rights was used as an argument and that was the correct argument to use. So FITA is saying there will be no sale of tobacco this week and I've told many people that have contacted me if you want to take action, take action now. Don't wait for FITA. They are not your friend. Thank you very much.